Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So look at these beauties. So today I'm planting more hookahs, also known as coral bells. Now this one I did plant off the back deck in a hanging basket in a recent video. I loved it so much. I needed one for the front yard. So this one is called Dolce Wildberry Hookera. It is a perennial plant, which means it will come back every year. The same goes for this one. Look at the color of this one. It reminds me of fall and the underside of their leaves are equally as beautiful. You can see that pinky fuchsia color. So pretty. Now this one is called Mahogany Monster. So these plants prefer a part sun situation, but I have them in full sun off the back deck and they are doing fantastic and they can also take a really shaded location. So a really fantastic plant. So one of the hookahs I plan to place in this container that I picked up from Lowe's. Now I chose this one because it matches back to one that I already have. This one over here. Now I planted this one with coleus that I had left over from a past project because I love coleus and I'm not throwing any of them away. It looked pretty scraggly when I first planted it up. I didn't do a video on it. It's starting to fill in. It still looks a little wonky, but it will fill in I think and do really Really nicely I did share this on my Instagram so I hope you will check out my Instagram and follow me there so the Dolce Wildberry Hookera this purple one here I'm going to place in the container and I'll have it in the front yard with the coleus I'll show you that when I get it planted up and this mahogany monster I plan to place it in a hanging basket just like I did the other wild berry and one called black pearl super pretty and I also did an upright sedum so if you haven't seen that video where I planted up my perennials and hanging baskets I can put a link in this video I hope you will check it out so taking a look back in the past, I wanted to share with you how I prep this container for planting, which is pretty much just drilling more drainage holes. Now you can see this one has one hole, not enough. I have planted in these containers before and I put some bulbs in here and it rotted my bulbs. So I need more drainage holes. It's really simply done. You just need a drill fitted with a drill bit. Now you can use whatever drill bit size you want. If you use a smaller one, you'll need to probably drill more holes. I'll probably do about three this size. Now I'm letting the drill do the work. You don't want to force it. I have cracked containers, um, chipped, broken these plastic containers by forcing the drill. So just let it do the work. I'm going to drill more holes here and I'll show you what it looks like. all finished it's looking good now it's time for planting so I have this container filled with miracle Grow potting mix you want to use a potting mix or a container mix when you are planting in containers I've added in some plant tom because that's what I have on hand a slow release granular fertilizer so I'm gonna go ahead and get the hookah planted up One plant down and one left to go. Now I got soil all over the leaves filling in around the root ball, but no worries. I will water this over the top and rinse those leaves. And now it's on to the next one. So now it's on to hookah number two. It will go in this hanging basket. Now I always remove the hanging basket chains because they're kind of in the way. It makes it much easier to plant things in it this way. Now I've did the same thing, potting mix and fertilizer.
this mahogany monster hookara is all planted in this hanging basket i think it looks great so i'm gonna go ahead and get the chains back on this basket and get it hung up so here it is guys i think it looks really good i am loving it in this hanging basket it's just really simple and i love that simple look of just one plant in a container in a hanging basket now you may notice down here in this window basket planter that i like to plant up that i got last year now i planted it up early spring there is a story to this why it is now empty um kind of sad so i will share that update with you in this video but first i'm going to take you over here and show you the other hookahs and an upright sedum that i planted in hanging baskets this first one black pearl love it this one over here an upright sedum called autumn fire cannot wait till that one kind of blooms out now over here on the end the other dolce wildberry hookara and again i just love the color that purple color it just stands out you can really notice this plant love it so i'm gonna go ahead and give you that quick update on the window basket planter then i'll show you the other hookara so this is the window basket planter project that i did in a past video i really love the kind of whimsical look using the two different types of marigolds and the two sweet potato vine now this is what it looks like now kind of a bummer so the sweet potato vine really did start to fill in and kind of take over and start to shade out the marigolds that really like the sun so i did have to keep cutting back the sweet potato vines uh, to try to keep them kind of tamed down a bit now what happened is the japanese beetles moved in and started eating on those plants so before I was able to get the Bagabug Japanese Beetle Trap that I shared with you in a past video and also did an update video on that, that works fantastic. But before I could uh, set up that trap and get those beetles gone, the plants just look really bad. So I pulled them all, then I was stuck with an empty basket that I'm hoping to plant up later on. So now back to these beautiful hookahs. So here is the other Dolce Wildberry hookara planted in the container next to the coleus in the matching container. Loving it here, all of this beautiful color. And you know, I have noticed over time of planting different plants, I really am a fan of just beautiful foliage, beautiful leaf colors. I don't even have to have any flowers. And I really think it looks nice in this area, kind of as a trio with the birdcage planter that I did in a past project. And I'll give you an update on that. You can kind of see it um, in a, another quick video. So guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I hope you will also follow me on Instagram as well as Pinterest. And if you have any questions or comments, place those down in the comment section below. I thank you so much for watching guys. And I I will see you in the next one. Bye.